Hey everybody. So uh, basically, this is not a model kit review as such, but this is a kit, and it can be used to make models. We're taking a look at the MakerBot. For those of you who don't know what that is, and I'm sure you're searching away right now in another tab window, the uh, MakerBot is basically a public domain 3D printer. So it takes 3D models and prints them into 3D space. And uh, my intention is to see how this works in addition to my regular scale modeling and the 3D models that I have built and would not mind building now that I've got this in-house. If you go to MakerBot.com, there's a store link you can go to. They've just introduced a newer model called the Thingomatic. So they dropped the price on this fairly substantially, and uh, the opportunity was there for me to get one. Alright, so let's dig in here. It's definitely fully packed. One obvious thing is one pound of ABS plastic, a spool of it. That's three millimeters wide, so I can show you the... Uh, the definition of the piece. There are no printed pieces that come with this, of course, but it's got a manifest, packing list, and an introduction letter and stuff. This particular version of the kit is more expensive, but it comes with everything you need to uh, go straight out of the box and this can take a good work week to build so uh, it's not something that's going to happen fast but I will be enlisting the aid of Crash Space in Los Angeles because they have several of these going and we'll see how well I do So let's pop these open and take a look. So this is the basic body of the MakerBot. It's a mix of acrylic and it looks like some kind of board. I want to stain this first before I start building it. Thinking of a color I like. Well, let's pull all these parts out separately after we take a look at them all. So the big box has the body. A few walls, the build platform, the roof, and everything that the electronics rest inside of when fully housed. Well, that is to say they're attached to it all over the place. So in the next one, basic tools, Looks like the motors. Various cables, pulleys, spindles, nuts, bolts, screws, and just about everything, including the build platform itself. So you can build a 4x4x5 four by four by or 6 inch piece, theoretically. So uh, how much of this board you want to leave as, you know, safety space, uh, I don't know. But it's not going to be quite four. However, that is a good size piece for any kind of model kit, which is what I'm looking to do with it. So it could be really good. And then, of course, we got all the rods for uh, travel of the print head. So let me pack all this back up. 
Here we've got, I think this is just one pound of ABS, but that's really huge. They offer a few different colors at the uh, website, and uh, this looks like it'll last definitely quite, quite a while. This is definitely thicker than the print head extruder, but uh, we'll get into that a little later. Here in yellow box. Come to some of the finer pieces, perhaps. A few pieces of platform, a few tools, and more screws. And the first board, and a few pieces of electronics here, mostly heavy duty stuff like cabling. And it looks like a drive belt, and uh, we'll see what else. Pink box. Ribbon cables. Looks like a couple possible motors in there. Some more tools. Hex bolts. Acrylic pieces. And at least one main drive motor. Then one standard power supply, such as is found on uh, computer systems. It doesn't have to be a particular wattage, but it does need to be a particular amperage. I think that's in the 15 amp range. So this is only 400 watts, but... Only 7 amps, hmm, 11 amps. So this should be just about minimally powerful to run this thing, and it looks like I'll have to buy another one. So we'll see how that goes. So that's all the main parts. There are no directions included at all. Go online and uh, over at themakerbot.com, you can find all that. So this is definitely going to be an exciting build. What we'll do is in part two we'll take a look at each of the boxes contents individually and see what we got and uh, then in the next few weeks hopefully by the time November is out I can potentially finish building this if not it'll be closer to Christmas so uh, that's 2010 for anyone watching it in the future so that's pretty much it for this introduction to it all and uh, watch for part two and the upcoming building of the MakerBot and then building the building of the building of building. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.